Charlotte 49ers men's and women's basketball teams enter the season with high expectations. Inside UNC Charlotte's Ryan Rose sat down with head coaches and players to preview the 2012-2013 campaign. Hi fans, welcome to our Charlotte 49ers men's basketball preview. Ryan Rose with you and of course that means we've got the head coach Alan Major back. We've got we got a youth moving in here today, but a couple guys have played 30 minutes a game last year, so fire tested, I, I would say. Sophomore Perrier Henry, and we've got junior Demario Mayfield here with us. Coach, did you learn some things about some of these guys last year that you didn't know, and what kind of things have you guys been doing in the offseason to kind of get this thing moving towards the way you want it to go? Yeah, I think uh, especially with these two, uh, they showed a level of toughness for really being in their first years of college competition. I mean, you got, you know, Perry A right out of high school and, and DeMario's situation is unique. You know, a lot of people don't know freshman year at Georgia it really didn't play a whole lot. So, you know, not so much, you know, in their rotation and then he sits out a year due to the transfer rule. They showed me a level of toughness that I, I thought they had, but they showed more than that. And so I was really proud of these two for logging the minutes that they logged and, and, and getting thrown to the fire right away. It's going to do nothing but help them. And, you know, in terms of our team, you know, when you're close like that, you know, we took a step last year and we got better. Um, you know, I, I want us to take a couple more steps, but when you go through the fire like that, that shows you that you're not as far away as you think you are. And we now, this year, we want to take that next step and get over the hump on those nights where you're right there. Let's talk about your off seasons. And uh, Demario, I'll start with you. What, what things have you done to kind of improve your game in ways that you think you may be able to contribute to the team cause this year? I mean, my, my biggest concern uh, well, um, that I took into the spring, like after the season, was working on my free throws. You know, I had a bad uh, shooting, shooting free throws last year. And, you know, uh, also I've been working on being more, more of a leader, you know, communicating with guys a whole lot better. And I've also been working on being more of a consistent mid-range shooter. All right, so things we'll look for from his game. Perrier, a whole lot of steals last year, one of those guys. And uh, as a freshman, you know, dishing it out, uh, what are some things that we may see from your game that are better from last year? Just decision-making, just making sure that my team gets, gets the best shot every possession. Really just, just having faith in my team and being a point guard controlling, you know, the offense and then on the defensive end just trying to lead by example and hopefully you know I believe that my team will fall in hand and they'll fight with me. And and we we, we haven't talked about Braz, your thousand point scorer mm -hmm. along with the core, another guy that played basically 30 minutes a game last year. Right. What bright things for you guys this year perhaps? Yeah I think uh, you got these two guys you know you got your point guard uh, a wing and a big that were all heavy minute guys and and so you got three experienced guys at your three key positions you know point guard or wing guy and and then the post so um, I even though they've been through it and they've got experience they we still want to continue to drive them to improve and then lastly we get to this schedule with a couple of new teams in the A-10 you're gonna play both of them in VCU and Butler mm -hmm. the schedules laid out for you. you don't have a whole lot of time away as far as long stretches but Boy, a challenging schedule laid out for you this year. Yeah, but you know what? Um, I, me, I, I can't wait because this this crew has put it together a lot of time from the, the, the day our St. Joe's game ended. We gave them a little bit of time off. We got right back at it in the spring. Um, guys had a terrific summer both on the floor, off the floor, academically with summer school. And so it, it's, it's as you try to build this to where we want it, it's not just ball, it's how you handle yourself both as a student, as a man, and guys are starting to understand when you, when you do that, all, all that's going to translate into being successful. And with a schedule like this, yeah, clearly it's the toughest one we've had in three years, but, you know, I, I want to find out, you know. I think any team that's got a competitive heart to it, you want to know where you stand and the beauty of it is it's still five on five at the end of the day right. so they, they can't play eight guys against our five so uh, if we play to the level that we're capable of on both sides of the ball uh, anything can happen with this crew I think the sky's the limit for them and it will be so much fun to watch these guys play I can't wait I mean I know you guys are chomping at the bit to get out on the court but there's a little rowdy crowd waiting in Halton Arena to watch you guys play it'll be a lot of fun yep 
Appreciate your time today, guys. Uh, good luck this season. Best of health to you guys. I know it's going to be a whole lot of fun. We need to get Halton Arena rocking again, fans. We'd like to thank head coach Alan Major and two of the core of this unit for the 2012-13 uh, season, Perry, Henry, Demario Mayfield. Thank you, guys. We really appreciate it. Thank you.